this is what the weather outside looks like you guys i'm here at westby's so on a little budget and gain today you know how it does go when everything costs money right now this is the the lowest i know you'll ever saw the car at when i leave here after going to the gas station as well uh just wait just waited a little while for it to cool down i'm not going inside with the girls umbrella i always keep the girls umbrella in the car and i don't like to misplace it because I have a tendency of losing umbrellas. So, not today I'll be running along at the side of the bell and I have on my slippers. Plan is just be careful. So, I'm going to pick up some things because you would have seen the first set of items that we got in Extra Foods. Y'all could check that vlog or you will also see links later at the end of this video as well. So, you can check the Extra Foods haul where we went with $300 and we got most of the staples that you need. Flour, um rice those type of things and in big amounts as well so check out that vlog but i'm here to get the market goods and some smaller items at westby's because westby's still have one of the best prices around so hope you all enjoy today's vlog Because I have it on wide angle, it looks like a little bit of bag, but all it on budget and I get plenty things, I get plenty things, so don't worry. When I reach home I'll do the, the haul for you. Okay? Let me start by saying I got some things I didn't expect to get on sale. Like all the craft mac and cheese. 3 for 19 like 
I went back and took up the next $19 worth of it. And only that was the only way. See, the 3 for 19 is actually be better than the 3 for 20 Because you save an extra dollar. And when you pick up something what costs 5 something, it's still falling in brackets. So, I'm happy, I'm happy. So, Ole, I'll check in when I reach back home, right? Alright guys, so back at home, finally getting to do the unboxing. So we starting off with this star foil. Don't know how strong it is, but I needed some foil. And this was only $10. So I believe it will get what I need done. Um, two ten of juice. I picked up one ten of orange and one for great grapefruit for $19. You guys know that for a while now they have been having sale on this we actually made the grapefruit juice just now so yeah Nish also needed some mayo so she opened the pack of mayo as well this value pack was for $25 you all remember this was $20 that's how the price of everything is increasing so next we have some mac and cheese so you all saw in the grocery I picked it up and I watched the expiry date right the expiry date is actually the fourth month of 2023 so I actually picked up six of these you guys I'm not sure if they pack all in the same bag and they had these sugar on sale for eight dollars a pack so sugar is one of the things that is on the rice and we are making plenty juice these days looking forward to when we actually cut sugar from our diet so yes I did pick up three packs of the sugar um, it's a it's a sugar that we used before nothing special making juice browning chicken and <laughs> That's it. Over in this bag is just a couple of snacks I picked up for the girls. Two digestive. These are actually two fifty now. Yes, all it. So two of this alone is five dollars. I believe the shortcake is two dollars for one. This was one of my favorite snacks and still is growing up. Leave in the comment section below how much of you all still enjoy shortcake. I picked up three of those. I also picked up some baked four. The girls don't really eat much snack because we prefer to send them with fruits and also they will have cricks and those type of things. So this is just like to mix and match. If we send them with snack Monday, then they don't go with a snack or a biscuit. They choose they like to mix it up. We don't really want them hooked on those things too much as well. And then I picked up about six packs of Kool-Aid. So that's what the sugar is for. Kool-Aid. And hint, hint, hint. What makes my Kool-Aid a little more flavorful is that cherry brandy. I always sprinkle some brandy in my Kool-Aid when I'm making it right. So yes, here's the, the rest of mac and cheese. As I said, six we picked up. So, yo, I, I feel nice to see that this was on sale. Remember the trick that I taught you for those who wondering why is it cheaper. This is the box that contains 156 grams. And remember I told you all the box and price math is 200 and six grams so that's why the box has a little bit less in it so what we will do when we make in one of these is we'll add some macaroni to it just so Nish and the girls will be able to eat a box or me and the girls depending on who is at home and eating at the time so this six box is really good to have i also picked up this pack of the lentil peas when you go into the grocery try and pick up a little one extra every month you are custom buying one pack or two packs try and pick up an extra one because Yo, the price of groceries <laughs> for the past two years we've seen what going on and I actually like these smaller ones I find that they build very fast and remember what I told you when I made the extra food haul right or the true value haul sorry that one pack of ketchup I was paying 10 50 for one and I was like next time you're getting 4 for 20 buy so this time I actually got 3 for 90 so I picked up 3 packs and I also checked the expiry date as well to make sure it's not close so you all see in that so three pack of ketchup next on the list is this piece of cheese um new zealand cheese for 21 dollars a decent size as well and you all i actually had to get this butter initially there in westby's because in extra foods i believe this was 23 24 dollars for this low calorie butter and in westby's this only costs around 18 dollars so that's why i told you all i really enjoy shopping at westby's no matter what so yeah best buy may 2023 so manufactured march 2022 so this was just made so yeah shop shop at westies or know your grocery that you want to go to so 
Next set of things on the list is our market goods, y'all. So, as I told you all, I want to perfect that hacker recipe. I tried it already, but the bygone was from the deep freeze, so I purchased fresh bygone watch. $4.63 for these two, and I'll also be making roast bygone as well. They had the red apples, but I didn't like how they were feeling. I always check my fruits and vegetables when I'm purchasing it for any damages or booze. So I had to go with these regular apples, 8 for $19. Over here is the next set of buys and I believe it's three I got for six dollars, six fifty four, three nice ones. So I get into make a roast bygone and soda and my hacker bygone recipe. I'll try it. If it comes out good, I'll try to make a video and if it comes out good I will share it with you all. I also picked up this lovely nice big piece of pumpkin for ten dollars. I just have a small piece in the deep freeze. So this is a nice piece for me to season up and put away. When I say season up, I mean dice it up in cubes, have it for kalalu soup. Um, also my recipe, my pumpkin and rice recipe that's on the YouTube channel in the playlist. Well, yes, we have a whole playlist called Cooking with Jacob and Nish. So check out all our cooking blogs. We have over 20 recipes for you all to try. And this is my favorite part of the grocery haul, the healthy eating part, a kalalu bush. For $6, Nashida actually wished I purchased the Kalalu pack because today she is feeling to cook some Kalalu bush. Um, over here I got some ginger. This packet was for $7.90. We already used from it because Nashida used some when she was cooking today. I tried to preserve the things for the whole today, you guys. Um, I picked up about three packs of bell peppers. Um, this one is for $5, so this is one of the reasons why, well sweet pepper I should say, this is one of the reasons I really enjoy shopping Westby's to be able to get these things at an affordable price. I have a next pack here for $4.98, I also have a next pack here for $4.28, so normally what I do as well is I freeze them just to make sure that they last. I also got some um, piment over here. And yo, this one was actually hot because Nish cooked with this today and it was a little bit spicy. So we have any deep freezers as well, but this is the outer our correction. So not every time we go to the grocery, we have to pick up the same thing. This is $8 in cassava, so a little over a pound. I purchased this so I can make some butter cassava for those girls. I also picked up some sweet potato, it was $5 a pound. Those girls really enjoy sweet potato. And I also got this, like they had a pre-packaged pack for $2.99. I don't know if this was a mistake, but I checked them out. They were looking good. And I picked up this. So this was $5 a pound and this I got this for $2.99 a pound. So this is the market goods here. We have some pack share from the home garden in the deep breeze and some other things. Some help me um body and those type of things to cook so this is our little grocery haul and it will last us two to three weeks remember i told you all the secret is cooking every other day so for the week you're only cooking three times four times for the most you're cooking for two days so these these are the items here and i really hope that you enjoy today's grocery haul and don't forget to like subscribe and come back for another video because we post videos weekly some weeks you might get three four videos some weeks you may only get two or three i would just like to say thank you for watching and we'll see you in another one bye so it's another beautiful day to bake you guys i just made three bread and gain this time the recipe and the perfect recipe before i share it this time i use five cups cups of flour and this is the height of the bread here y'all this is the height so i believe next time i'll be using about six cups because two cups is giving me a nice loaf and as you guys know it's this non-stick pan that i'm using to bake in so i'm perfecting a recipe and i just love the bread only like i couldn't stop talking about this last time i was like i got to do it again so